Hi everyone, we are continuing with Bullying Prevention Week. So I have another great story that I'd love to read to you. And this story is called Willow Finds a Way. And it's about a little girl who is being bullied by another little girl. In fact, the other little girl is bullying everyone in her class. We'll see what she does to stop the bullying. Willow finds a way. In Willow's class, Christabel was the boss. Willow wished for words that would say no when Christabel told her where to sit and what to play and who to play with. She was very bossy. But when Christabel spoke, everyone did as they were told, even Willow. So even though she was bossy, they still, sorry, they still did what she said. One morning, Christabel skipped into the classroom holding a pink sparkly paper. I am having a fantastic birthday party, she announced. You can come, she said, holding up her paper high. If you are on my birthday list, hmm. Willow joined the crowd around Christabel. She saw Jane, Tiana, Julian. They are all around the list. And right in the middle, you can see this is Christabel, all in pink. My heart thumped, or sorry, her heart, Willow's heart, thumped so loudly, she was sure that the whole class could hear it. Please, 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 please make my name be there, she thought. Then there was Mateo, Alina, Oliver, Juan. When her eyes reached the very bottom of the list, she was almost too scared to look. But then she read the last name on the pink sparkly paper and she beamed, Willow. Her name was there and everyone was invited. At snack time, Christabel waved her birthday list in the air and said, if you want to stay on my birthday list, come and sit at my table. Willow was comfortable where she was, but then Julia moved and so did Jane. Hmm. They're doing whatever she says. Willow worried she wouldn't be part of the fantastic birthday party. So she squished in as well. And there they are all around the table. At playtime, Willow and Jane were busy in the sandbox when Christabel waved the birthday list again. And she said, everyone on my birthday list, come and play with me on the climber. And why does everybody go? Right, because they're worried she'll cross them off the list. Willow was happy playing in the sand, but then Jane rushed right over top of the castle calling, let's go Willow. Willow worried that she wouldn't be part of the fantastic birthday. So she stood at the climber and everyone else and clapped for Christabel. So I think Christabel's a little bit bossy and I think she also likes a lot of attention. And she's being quite mean because she keeps using her birthday invitation as a way to make them do things. And that's not very nice. At the end of the day, Christabel walked straight to the front of the line, holding tight to her birthday list. Mateo took a brave step ahead of her and smiled. Remember, Christabel? Mrs. Post said it's my turn to be lying later. But Mateo, Christabel said in an angry whisper that was just loud enough that Mrs. Post wouldn't hear, I am having a fantastic birthday party, so I should be lying later. Mateo stood firm in his spot. Sorry, Christabel, I really want my turn. Fine, said Christabel, stamping her foot. You are not my friend anymore. Is that kind? It was his turn. He didn't have to move. But look at what she does. You can't come to my birthday party. Everyone watched as Christabel held up her birthday list and drew a straight line right through Mateo's name. Mateo's lip trembled. Willow took a deep breath to say, that's not nice, Christabel. But nothing came out. She wanted to say it, but she couldn't. Wear pink tomorrow, Christabel called as everyone went out to the door. Pink is my favorite color. So wear pink if you want to come to my fantastic birthday party.
So the next morning, as she got ready for school, Willow searched for words to say to Christabel. So she was trying to think of what can I tell her to stop being so mean. But her head swirled with visions of parties and pink sparkly lists and a line drawn straight through her name, which she did not want. So instead, Willow searched her drawers for pink things to wear. And look at all the mess she's making. At snack time, Willow trailed behind the crowd to Christabel's table. Oh, Willow, I love your dress, Christabel said sweetly. Willow was relieved. Then Christabel turned to Julian. Where is your pink? He asked, and here's Julian right here. I don't like pink, said Julian. Christabel got on her marker and drew a line right through Julian's name. You can't come to my birthday party. Mm, 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 mm. Julian grabbed a snack and stomped over to the table where Matteo was sitting alone. So there's Julian and Matteo. They weren't allowed to come to the party because they're not doing what Christabel says. Jane looked down at the floor. Tiana fidgeted in her seat. Willow struggled to say, Christabel, that's me. But the words just wouldn't come out. Again, Willow's head swirled with visions of parties and pink sparkly lists and a line drawn straight through her name. Then Willow knew just what to do. Hmm, I wonder what she's going to do. Let's find it. Without saying a word, she picked up Christabel's birthday list and a marker. She drew a straight line right through her name. The whole class gasped, and at first, no one moved. But then Jane walked over and slowly took the birthday list from Willow's hand. So she's crossing off her own name, saying she does not want to go to that party. One by one, everyone crossed their names off Christabel's birthday list. Just like that, Christabel wasn't the boss anymore. Because if nobody went to her party, she had no power over them. So Christabel sat all by herself at snack time. Willow was happy to be in a regular spot, but she noticed that Christabel didn't eat a thing. She still feels bad for Christabel. At playtime, Willow tried to concentrate on her sandcastle, but she could see Christabel all alone on the climber. Christabel did some pretty impressive tricks, but no one clapped. At the end of the day, everyone rushed into the line. So Christabel had to go to the very end. And look at how sad she is. I wonder if she feels sorry for what she did. Do you think she does? I think she does, but we'll have to see though. Jane saved a spot for Willow right in the middle, middle, but Willow went to the back of the line instead to stand with Christabel. Well, that is very kind. She's showing kindness now. Christabel, and she's filling both their buckets. At first, Christabel was surprised, but then she looked at the floor. I'm sorry, she said in a voice that was just loud enough for Willow to hear. Before Willow could say a word, Christabel marched straight over to Mrs. Post, their teacher. Everyone watched uneasily as Christabel whispered in the teacher's ear. Oh my, said Mrs. Post as Christabel pointed to the line of children. Hmm, said Mrs. Post when Christabel was finished. Mrs. Post addressed the class with her hands on her hips. Boys and girls, everyone held their breath. Isabel would like to make an announcement. My birthday party will be fantastic, Christabel said holding the birthday list up high. And then to everyone's surprise, she ripped it into pink sparkly pieces. If all my friends would come please. So now she's realized that she really just wants her friends to be there. And she apologized. And they did. And everyone had a wonderful time. I wonder if Christabel learned her lesson that when you're a bully and when you're not nice to people, bad things happen to you.
I think she did. Now, right after this video, I videoed another a part of her school. And when you watch it, you will see what we're doing here. It involves tracing your hand, coloring it, and putting a kind message on it. So stay tuned for that video, and then I want to see if you can make a hand.